well, the actual paragraph in the, the statement was probably shorter than it's been in, in recent years for fintech, uh, but then again, so was, so was the autumn statement. Some of the key messages were a £500,000 fund to back DTI, so they can have people on the ground in, in new markets, which is relatively small but could be beneficial to move into them markets. There's regional uh, ambassadors to, to, to expand upon what Eileen Burbage has been doing at the Treasury to try and support fintech uh, in, the, in the regions. Uh, there's also uh, Innovate Finance were appointed to run the fintech census, which uh, obviously we will look forward to doing, try and get some accurate uh, measures of, of, of the sector. Uh, more importantly, I think, uh, was the announcement that the British Business Bank will be stepping more into, into venture funding, a £400 million fund, uh, which is a cornerstone fund, so leverage into up to a billion pound in scale-ups, and obviously fintech will be a, a key part of that. So that's one of the, that's one of the key areas that we're really, uh, really pleased to see. And probably the other area that we're really pleased to see is the uh, JMLSG, the Joint Money Laundering Steering Group, is looking into digital identity. And I know that's something that's very close to, to Tizer and, and many of our members as well. So, so reasonably pleased. Um, on the negative side, uh, clearly we weren't going to go all the answers on Brexit, uh, passporting, uh, and obviously immigration and skills, etc. I think we'll all have to wait a little bit longer on that. But overall, uh, quite good. There was the Financial Advice Market Review last year, which obviously is looking to provide digital as a way to step into that advice gap, uh, whether it's supporting robo-advisors or altering the rules around advice, just trying to, to support that, obviously, because this is an area where there's, there's many people now controlling pots of money through liberalized annuities, etc., cetera, who, who can't necessarily afford advice. So again, current theme throughout the last few years, the government using digital to try and provide uh, solutions to where the market has, has perhaps uh, failed before. Um, I think there's obviously still a role for education will, will continue to, to be so uh, and obviously saving more broadly uh, can be helped by nudges and other behavioral economic uh, principles which can be applied in, in certain apps and saving apps. So I, I think the digitals have got a role to play and, and hopefully we'll continue to do so.